Hi, my name is David Summerflack, and I'm a digital marketing specialist online at dms.blue. That's www.dms.blue. I have about 20 years experience working for multiple marketing and advertising agencies and publishers as a freelancer, as an employee, as a contractor, in many, many different positions. And in this video, I wanted to take a few minutes to basically discuss the value and need for using a digital marketing plan and basically get into that a little bit more. Digital marketing basically uses many seemingly unconnected tools. There is SEO here, which is how Google will find and rank a website. SEO stands for search engine optimization. So to say it's important is an understatement, right? If you have a website and Google doesn't index it or it's not listed the right way, it doesn't make money. Think about it. So digital marketing has all these different tools. There's SEO, which we just mentioned. There's web design. There's social media. There's PPC, which is paid advertising, pay-per-click. There's content, which is writing good quality blog posts and with links to scholarly sources. Then there are the elements of design so that your website looks professional and impressive to the right types of consumers you want to reach. So you have all these different elements. What do they all mean? How do they work together? And we know that SEO needs to be used in conjunction with advertising and social media, right? Or else nobody ever sees it. We know that SEO um, has to be communicated on social media with certain hashtags to reach the people you want to see it. We know that it's important what you write or blog about, doing podcasts, videos like this one, uh, but I'm sure they'll be much better. Okay, the terms you use in those media, what you link to, what terms you use in everything that you produce and so on. Then there's how design influences consumer choices such as color psychology, the design standards. You want your website to look and feel like a larger, more profitable industry competitor. You don't want to reinvent the wheel or make your website look like, you know, a coloring book or something. You want it to look like a very serious professional website, whatever it is. You want to use e-commerce to accept payments online for downloads or for services or placing orders or buying things for appointments, for rentals, whatever. But you want to use e-commerce so you can take money, so you can pay bills. And then there is checking all of those factors to make sure that they're all properly branded, working together at the same time as part of a cohesive whole, and that they actually all go and sync up with social media outlets that you actually use yourself. Then you want to tweak all of those for the best SEO performance. Make sure that you're getting the returns that you want to see, you're getting contacts. Then there's website security and backups. Uh, in case your website is hacked, you want to be able to restore it in case it goes down, which can happen. So there's all these different elements to digital marketing. So just having a website doesn't really do it because you know that there's all these other elements to it that an empty do-it-yourself or template really can't deliver. How can it? So knowing that there's all these different factors that uh, go into effective digital marketing as a whole that produces results for business owners, is it any wonder why these DIY efforts don't really make money for business owners? No. So what do you do? You have to have some kind of way to organize what your business goals are first. And then you want to set priorities that you want to achieve achieve, excuse me, based on order of importance. So for example, let's say that you're a small business owner, you could be an accountant, you could be a restaurant owner. Um, and let's say that your business is struggling, you have an office, you may have a handful of employees, maybe you don't have any employees at all. And your 
you're breaking even, you're paying down your debt, and whatever money you earn is used to pay down that debt and keep the machine running. You can't do this forever. At some point, the business is going to hit a snag or hit a dry spell, and debt will outmeasure the profits that you're making at some point. So you have to invest for return on investment, ROI, which is spending money in order to make money. I'm sure everybody's heard that, that, that old saying that to make money, you have to spend money. And what that means is basically you're spending, 30, 000, you're spending let's say, $3,000 in ads, which on a monthly basis is not a lot. It might seem like it, but it's not. So let's say for the sake of example, you have a $3,000 budget for marketing per month you expect to make back 30 40,000 every couple of months so it's working on all cylinders like a machine that's why in any major city if you drive down a main road what are you going to see billboards on the side of the road for usually lawyers doctors and other business owners on the side of buses they're willing to spend five ten thousand dollars a month for a billboard or bus sign or, or a wrap around a bus or whatever, because they know that enough people are going to see it, that they're going to make their money back again and again. They're willing to spend a few thousand dollars for an ad in a newspaper because they know they're going to get the phone calls. So it's the same way with digital marketing. You spend a few thousand dollars because you know intellectually here that you're going to be getting more phone calls and emails from people who want to do business with you they're going to see that they're going to call you they're going to want to engage your services that's why you spend it that's the whole concept behind behind roi return on investment and that's what a lot of small new business owners don't do either they can't or they don't want to or they don't see the connection Everybody can get on a payment plan. Everybody can get some type of ROI going. So that's what new business owners need to know. But anyway, so you have to invest for ROI in whatever way that you do it, whatever context. So we've already talked about how to determine budget. So the way to, do, to maximize your ROI in order to achieve tangible business goals, such as getting more customers to call you, or come to your office um, is to develop what I call a digital marketing plan. Others call it a marketing plan or a web plan. Doesn't matter. This is an organized plan that details what you want to achieve, how you expect to achieve it, and what organized steps, who your ideal consumer should be, how you intend to find them online, what websites do they go to, what do they look at? What search terms do you use to find them online? What conventions do they do or conferences do they go to? What industry or trade publications do they read? What videos do they look at? What problems are they trying to solve? Now, in the process of you finding out these answers, you're going to see what SEO terms they use. You're going to learn an awful lot more about the types of customers you're trying to reach. So that's the importance of having an organized, deliberate, structured digital marketing plan that you have from, from the beginning, from giddy up, so that you can move forward. So once you have all that information, you outline that in your digital marketing plan for reaching these people. Then you write out what will define success for you that's realistic. Now, a lot of people will say, I want to make a million dollars in six months or something. And it's obviously, it's just not realistic. That's blue sky thinking. You have to have realistic expectations based on common industry norms for growth within that industry or trade. So for a nonprofit organization, say, increasing donorship amounts uh, by 15 or 20 percent within six months. That's realistic. Increasing the number of people coming into your restaurant by 20 or 30 percent within a month or two. It's doable. You want to have realistic expectations. And you can find out what these can be very easily by just reading trade publications or going to talk to a larger, more profitable industry competitor in a larger city or in, a, in another state. They're not going to see you as competition if they're in another state. 
because they know you're a million miles away. And that's one way to learn very quickly. So you want to have an organized, structured digital marketing plan that you have and that you can then go ahead and refer back to and work from. The digital marketing specialist who you work with will help you develop that plan that both parties can then work from. The digital marketing specialist will want to work backward from that and go, okay, well, I know that this business owner or startup founder wants these goals, he has this type of business. So now I know what kind of website to build out. I know what the SEO should be. I know how to market and promote the hell out of this to get them uh, the, the, the return on investment, the eyes and the phone calls that they want. Without this plan, you're left with all these seemingly different pieces of the puzzle that we talked about. You have someone doing SEO over here. Then you have another person doing the social media over here. You have another guy over here writing the content creation, the blog post, somebody over here doing the videos for you so they look great. Then you have somebody doing your podcast and somebody else setting up your e-commerce. The problem is that all the pieces of the puzzle aren't put together as a cohesive whole. There's no organization to it. So everything isn't humming together like like the, the motor of a car moving you forward. A long, long time ago, I met a lady who uh, basically said that she had a marketing agency. And basically what she told me was, she said, look, I have this team in Russia. They do the website design because they're super cheap overseas. Then I have a team in Brazil that writes the content for the websites and they're super cheap because they're in Brazil. Then I have a team in China that does the SEO. Then I have a, a, another team, I think it was in Taiwan or something, doing the another aspect of the website development. And so I said, well, what's the problem? Why are you talking to me? She said, well, the problem is they all speak different languages. They all have different time zones and nobody can really communicate very effectively. It's just a lot of chaos. I'm selling these websites to the clients very cheap and I'm making a lot of profit. The client doesn't know that they're not achieving any business objectives because they may not even have them or know what they should be. So she's making a lot of money. But what she knows that the value of her work isn't very high. After six months or so, the clients kind of wise up and they realize, I'm not getting any phone calls. I'm not selling anything. My business isn't growing. What's going on? So she was kind of catching on to that. And I just said, look, ethically, I don't agree with how you're doing this. You need more structure. You need to work with one team or one professional who can unify everything together and guarantee that your clients get real results that they need. You're not doing that. So you're always going to have this problem. So a digital marketing plan gives you the focus and structure that you need to get real tangible results in the way that you want in much less time achieving real business objectives. And if you were to keep trying to do everything yourself or working with one person here, another over there, another over here, you, there's no systemized single goal and no real way to achieve that. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, Basically, that's the reason why you need to work from a digital marketing plan that is structured, organized, and deliberate. So to learn more or get help, please visit me online at dms.blue. And if you would like to get a free download copy of my digital marketing plan that I use for clients, simply go to dms.blue contact me through one of the contact forms. Let me know what issues you're running into. And if you'd like a copy of this digital marketing uh, plan that's structured that for you to fill in the blanks, let me know if you'd like it. And I'll be very happy to send it to you for free. No strings attached. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope that this uh, video has been helpful to you. It's a lot of information to take in. But the main thing to really remember here is that with digital marketing, you can fixate on price over the cost of real value, or you can look at the different tools as opposed to putting everything together 
as part of a collective whole. Remember, the whole purpose of digital marketing is to bring more customers to a business website and have them call you or make purchases or subscribe to your newsletter or donate to your campaign or your nonprofit and for you to generate more income for real profit-driven business. So you got to have these objectives in mind. And the way that you do that is to have a very structured, deliberate marketing plan in place. So thanks for watching and take care out there. And let me know if you'd like to have a copy of the digital marketing plan that I use. It's called the Road to Digital Marketing Profits. Thanks again and take care, everybody.